I've recently moved over to the UK for the next six months and I've managed to pack all my adventure kit, excluding my sleeping bags and rucksacks, into this 35 litre box. So today I'm gonna to run through what I have in my box. These are my lucky cross trail hiking poles, which I use for both running and hiking. This is my Life Venture Trek towel, extra large, which I use when I'm on all my hiking trips. And inside this bag, I also keep my goggles uh, just so I can go for a proper swim. This is a Life Venture backpack that can be packed down into this little tiny thing. And it's great if you're backpacking. If you're out, you wanna go and buy some extra food, you don't have room in your bags, use one of these and you have that extra capacity to carry food. My jet boil stash, been using this a lot recently. It's really compact, it's great for, hiking is great for backpacking it's just a great lightweight stove uh, without the gas it's only 200 grams so a great companion for your adventures this is a hydropack three liter water reservoir which i take on all my adventures the reason i love it is because it packs down small and then you've got three liters of water especially useful when you come to the end of the day you know you're going to have no water where you're camping you fill this up it's got little loops you can attach it to your backpack and then safely carry your water to your campsite. I always have a selection of waterproof bags. These are Cedar Summits. I have a, an assortment of different sizes, just in case. Um, some of them I use for clothes, some of them I use for electrical, some of these are for food. Uh, they're just a really good way of keeping everything dry, but also making sure your backpack stays organized. Always have a selection of fire pot meals with me. These are some of my fla favorite flavors. This is also pasta bolognese and spicy pork noodles. Not gonna go wrong with these. Let's face it, we're in the UK, so waterproof trousers. These are the Berghaus Packlight waterproof trousers. I love these, I've used them on so many adventures. Um, definitely worth checking out. I pair these up with a Montane Phase waterproof jacket, uh, which gives a pretty good waterproof solution for the wet weather in the UK. This is the Sea to Summer Eros Premium Pillow, a new addition to my camping setup, but I have found it great. It packs down small, it's super light, and it's very comfortable in the evenings. By doing any trips up to Scotland, then having a head net is great. This is the Sea to Summit head net. I love this. I've used it on lots of adventures, most notably Iceland, where there were lots of little flies, and Northern Ireland and Scotland when I was cycling around the UK. But great, tiny little addition to your backpack. Always pack some oats just in case. Always have a good breakfast. And then Mission Tea, which uh, I have in the morning. These are the Perform ones. I normally have some other ones like Recovery or something for the evening, but at the moment I just have these Perform teas. Got a water filter. This is a Soya mini water filter, and I use a Hydra Pack. Um, this is a Stow uh, 500 milliliter, which fits on well. I prefer this bag to the bag that comes with the uh, water filter, but this is a good team. Uh, always means I have good, clean water to drink. I've got my Outdoor Research Helium Bivy for doing lightweight packing, lightweight camping, um, maybe on the bike, maybe hiking, um, but it's really cool and lightweight. And then I have a Rab Solo Element uh, tarp, should I need to pair these up for wet travels. Um, but in all honesty, if it was gonna rain, I'd probably take a tent. I have my trusty, trusty Thermarest uh, x Light Neo Air. Um, sleeping mat, I've had this for a long time. It has done a lot of adventures with me and I love it. This is the best sleeping mat and worth the investment. I always take a head torch and a lantern um, for this is great in the tent. And uh, every time you go out on any trip, it's always good to have a head torch for safety. This is my Rab Silk sleeping bag liner. Always use the sleeping bag liner with my sleeping bags because one, I like to keep them clean and two, it adds a little bit of extra warmth and comfort. So always take a sleeping bag liner. This is my preferred eating utensil at the moment. This is the Sea to Summit long-handled spoon, especially when you're having a fire pot meal, it gives you good depth to dig deep and to eat this delicious dinner. And I have a titanium cup, which is a Life Venture titanium cup. Normally have this hanging off the back of my backpack or sometimes just have my um, first aid kit and then stuff that inside so there's no weight, uh, no space lost, but it's a good way of doing it. Make sure you always have the essentials. And here I've got some plasters, I've got some painkillers, I've got some little butterfly stitch things. Um, just depending on the adventure, I basically try and fill this tiny little first aid kit with what I need. I always take McNett um, 
tenacious tape, um, basically for fixing anything on jackets, on my sleeping mat, on my tent. Um, it's great, it's versatile. Um, quite often what I'll do is I'll cut round patches before I go on the adventure, so I don't need to do any cutting when I'm actually on the adventure. Um, the reason for cutting round is so the edges don't catch um, and makes, the, makes it more likely to come off. So if you do a round, stick it on, it's gonna work better. And this is a new thing I'm using. This is the Primus a little kind of hot flask thingamajiggy. So if you're going on out on a cold day in winter, really cool to get a meal cooked before you go, put it in this and then close it up. And then when you get up onto the top of the mountain, you've got a nice hot meal without having to take a camp stove, food, all that kind of stuff with you. So this is the little Primus lunch jug. Mosquito spray. This is the Life Systems Expedition Max. 24-hour uh, protection, which is misleading because what it actually says is you need to put it on three times in 24 hours. So that makes it it's eight-hour protection, but 24 if you put it on three times during the day. But this is good. It's kind of DEET, which I use. Not the best for your skin, not the best for the environment, but when you're in uh, places with lots of mosquitoes, it's a great one. Just don't go swimming in the waters afterwards because you will be taking these chemicals into the water with you. So if you're going to be swimming, use something kinder. Lastly, this is the Terra Nova Laser Compact One Tent. This is what I'm going to be using for adventures going forward after the sad demise of my MSR Carbon Reflex One, which died on my oat route. But um, this is another great option um, for bike packing. It's really good because the poles are very short. Um, I have done some alterations. I've taken out their tent pegs and put in my MSR tent pegs because they're lighter and I prefer them. Um, but this is the tent I'll be using going forward. And that is everything I have in one 35 litre box, which gives me everything I need to go on adventures while I'm over here in the UK for the next six months.